Mavave Video Suite 2020. What kind of program is that? How is it different from Mavave Video Editor and what's new in the 2020 version? Let's find out today. Hey there, I'm Daria and you're watching the Mavave Vlog, your go-to channel for creating cool videos. And this is our special episode on the new Mavave Video Suite 2020. First, my friend Roman will visit the Mavave's office to talk to one of the people behind Mavave Video Suite. Then I'll show you what's new in the 2020 version and at the end of this episode there will be a promo code. Don't miss it! Hi again, I'm in the Movavi office, the place where all the Movavi software is created and today I have a chance to talk with Steve, one of the content managers of the Movavi Video Suite projects. Hi Steve. Hi Ron. So my first question is, what is Movavi Video Suite? Well, basically the word suite means a set of something. So in our case, Movavi Video Suite is a set of programs from Movavi. Does it mean that Movavi Video Suite is all the Movavi software in one package? Uh, no, not exactly. You see, our program is called the Video Suite, meaning that it includes seven programs for working with video, mainly. And it includes such titles as Mobile Video Editor, Screen Recorder, Converter, etc. So how do I know when I should buy all of these programs separately and when it's better to get the Video Suite? Well, it's really simple. Uh, you will always benefit more if you get the Video Suite, uh, mainly because of its competitive price especially in comparison to the program that it includes. And uh, you should also bear in mind that if you really want to create um, high quality and cool videos for YouTube, for example, um, using just one video editor is never enough. So in this case, um, the video suite is a great choice because um, apart from video editing, you'll be able to um, convert media files and record your screen, adjust codecs and do many interesting and useful things. Okay, I use Movavi Video Editor to edit videos, it's clear, but what would I need Movavi Screen Recorder for? Oh, it's a highly versatile program and it is very helpful in terms of um, online training. Uh, you may record all of your webinars and online lessons and re-watch them later uh, to refresh your memory on certain aspects. And if you have a vlog and you would like to create a tutorial on a certain program or review it, there's just no way of doing that without a screen recorder. I see. And as for the video converter? Well, this program can also be used in many ways, but I guess one of the most popular is video compression. Um, let's say you have a movie in 4K and you want to watch it on your smartphone while going somewhere on the road. Um, but such a file would take too much space on the device. So in this case, it would be very useful to lower the resolution to Full HD or HD, and in the end, you will still get a decent video quality, but at the same time, the file size will be reduced significantly. All right, so there are four more tools. Are they useful too, and how exactly? Oh yes, yeah, sure. Um, all these tools, they help make uh, the video suite even more, you know, autonomous. Uh, so you can also work with CDs, DVDs, and even Blu-rays. Uh, you can record a TV or VHS signal. Uh, you can even play media files using the built-in media player. Um, so um, all these actions, they would require you to have separate programs. And with Movavi Video Suite, you have everything at your fingertips. Cool. Steve, what versions of the programs does the suite include? For instance, there was a release of Movavi Video Editor Plus 2020 this October. Is this version already included? Yeah, you see, Movavi Video Suite includes all the latest and all the top versions of the Movavi programs, including Video Editor Plus and Video Converter Premium. Uh, moreover, all the programs included in the suite first get updated within our program, and only then they get updated on their own. Sounds great! Yeah. If I bought some effect packs for the video editor, can I still use them in the video suite? And if I upgrade, will my older projects still open in this newer 2020 version? Mm -hmm. Yes, all the effects are totally compatible with the video suite. Uh, moreover, in the 2020 version, we now have a special tab called Effects, where you can get even more packs and sets right in the program. And as for the projects, yes, uh, our program fully supports uh, all its previous versions, so you will have no problem opening your older projects and finishing them in the current version. Steve, will you tell our viewers about the special offer you've prepared? Yeah, sure. Right before the Black Friday sale, you can get the video suite together with the photo editor at the price of just one program. So basically, you're getting seven programs for working with video and a full-featured photo editor that you can also use to create previews and thumbnails for your YouTube videos. Sounds great! Check the description for the promo code! Thank you, Steve! Thank you, Roland! 
thanks to Roman and Steve. Now, let's take a closer look at the program itself. This is how the Start window looks. The programs included in the suite are sorted out into several categories. The largest number of tools can be found in the Video tab. If you want to make a video for YouTube, capture your screen, quickly change video format, or edit a video, this tab is where you need to go. There is also a video player and an analog to digital converter for TV tuners and VHS players. In the second tab, there are apps for recording sound, audio conversion, burning music to a CD, and audio playback. Although the program is called Video Suite, it still has a couple of tools for working with photos. These are a slideshow program for making slideshows and an image converter, where you can upload entire folders and change the size and format of multiple photos at once. In the fourth tab, you can find apps for copying data from and onto a CD. In order not to get lost in the number of options, you can add the most frequently used apps into the favorites. By default, there are three programs in this tab – Video Editor, Video Converter and Screen Recorder, but you can customize it to your needs. Another cool feature is Quick Commands. For example, if you click Start Recording, Video Suite will start capturing your screen at once, without opening the program window first. The same way you can instantly create a new video project or choose files for conversion. It'll save you only one or two clicks, but if you work with multimedia tools often, I bet that'll come in handy. Those who are familiar with the earlier versions of Movavi Video Suite have probably noticed the changes. And it's not just the interface. In last year's version of the program, the 18s, the start window looked like this. It was just a list of programs. The new 2020 version introduced three new updatable sections – stock content, applications, and online courses. In the first of these sections, you can find additional content for your videos. Effect sets with titles, transitions, stickers, and other useful stuff. As well as videos, audio, and images from a stock content website. All this content isn't included in Video Suite and needs to be purchased separately. In the Applications tab, there is up-to-date information about other Movavi programs. It's very convenient that you can always see the price tag. This way, you'll be the first to know not only about new products, but also about discounts. I particularly like the Search section. Here you can find both free and paid learning materials. Online courses on video editing, creating a YouTube channel, and photography. That's a great chance to learn something new, without even quitting the program. Let's take a closer look at the main programs included in Movavi Video Suite, how they work and what has changed. If you click Edit Video, it'll open the Movavi Video Editor Plus 2020. It is a very intuitive program for making videos and slideshows. It has a great set of most useful editing tools, along with built-in effects, filters, titles, transitions, and so on. Also, you can add additional tracks for more advanced video editing. Not long ago, Roman made an episode on Movavi Video Editor 2020, so I won't be spending too much time telling you about what's new in this program. You better check out the review by Roman. The link will be here and in the description. Meanwhile, I'm going to show you how the Movavi screen recorder works and what has changed in this program. Look closely. It must be hard to notice at first glance. It's become a nice small tab on the side of your screen. If you want, you can move it around or hide it by clicking the arrow. The interface is very intuitive. The button with the camera icon is for making screenshots. First, choose the area on your screen. To the right, you can see additional tools – an arrow, frames, and a highlighter. Here are three ways you can share a screenshot. The quickest would be to copy one to your clipboard. Then, using Ctrl-V, you can paste it into a messaging app, an email, or a different software. Copying to your clipboard wasn't available in the previous versions. The other two ways is to save the screenshot file on disk or upload it to the cloud. If I choose the video cam icon, the screencast mode opens. Here, I can select a full screen, a specific area, or a window. In the last case, the orange recording area simply snaps to a window that I choose. Before I start recording, I can choose additional tools and features. In the newer version, all the most used ones are now here, in one place. For example, if you need it so that the keys you press while recording your screen show up on the screencast, click this icon. The program also lets you highlight the cursor and mouse clicks. 
I bet those who make tutorials and software reviews will appreciate a feature like this. The lower row of icons are responsible for recording a webcam, microphone, and system sound. Why use them? Well, the program allows you to simultaneously record screencast and system sound. This is what you hear from your speakers or your headphones, your plugged-in microphone so that you can comment your screencast on the go, and even your webcam. The next program within the video suite is Movavi Video Converter. It has several useful features. Not only can you convert videos, images, and audio to different formats, but you can also change resolution, codecs, and bitrate, lower the file sizes, and even edit video files. The converter lets you upload several files in a row and supports batch conversion. Very useful feature if on a regular basis you need to adjust stacks of files to very specific standards of format, size, resolution, and other parameters. Speaking of choosing a format to convert to, my goodness, there are plenty of them to choose. Some I haven't even heard of. If you need a specific format, you can use the search tool. In order not to specify too many parameters again and again, you can try some handy format presets with the most common codecs and resolutions. The ones you use often automatically appear in the first tab. See the Devices tab. Don't miss it. If you need to upload a video to your phone or tablet, you can simply look for your device in the list of presets. This way, you'll be sure the converted file will be compatible with the device. For those who don't like presets, the program offers access to the Pro settings to set the most specific parameters of conversion. If you need not only to change the file parameters, but also trim, cut, crop, rotate, or add a title to your video, you don't even have to open the video editor to do that. The basic editing tools are available in the converter. It also has stabilization, effects, and watermark tools as well. The other great usage of Mavavi Video Converter is a tool to shrink files. When you upload files, here you can see their estimated size after conversion. It can be lowered by dragging this slider. Note that it leads to lowering the bitrate, thus the video quality as well. The program lets you see a small part of the video before you've converted it, so you can see if the lowered bitrate is OK for you. If you have used the converter before, you've probably noticed the new interface. This isn't the only new aspect. Pay attention to the improved subtitle tool. Now you can select subtitles tracks, add an external subtitle file, or search for subtitles online right away, without leaving the program. If necessary, subtitles can be edited. You can change the timing, font, color, and position. In my opinion, those were the most useful programs in the Mavavi video suite. At any moment, you can download a free trial and get a closer look at all the included programs. The link will be in the description. And if you think that Mavavi video suite is a great multimedia solution for you, don't miss the hottest deal we prepared. With the special promo code, you'll get the whole package at a price of just one program, Mavavi Video Editor. But that's not it. You'll also get the photo editor for free, which is normally not included in the Mavavi video suite. The promo code is valid for three days only, so hurry up! It expires the day after Black Friday, which is November the 30th. For more details, see the description below. That's it for now. Subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell to be notified about the upcoming deals and giveaways. See you soon! Hi again! I'm in the Moavi office, the place where all the Moavi software is created. And today I have a chance to talk with Steve, one of the content managers of the Moavi Video Suite projects. Hi, sweet! <laughs> Hi, sweet! 